Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look where I've got. So th these were a recommendation by lots of lovely foodies out there and said, um, these are new. Uh, can you try them, please? So I am. Um, two pork and cheddar sausage rolls wrapped in puff pastry and sprinkled with parsley from the nation's favourite cheese. Uh, 360 grams. There is a serving suggestion. Um, and they were two pounds and fifty pence. So it's one pound twenty-five p a sausage roll. So um, let's have a look at the box. So there is a nutritional information. If you want to have a look at that, pause that by all means. Go ahead. Um, per roll, oven baked, five hundred and sixty-one calories. So that's um, that's a that's a good amount of calories for a sausage roll. But it is. It's got cheese and meat and pastry. It's going to be calorific. Uh, they are the ingredients and the allergens there in bold. Um, we've got wheat, milk, uh, metabisulfite, uh, soya, milk, and that's it, yes. Um, and there are the allergens. So we've got pork, 26%. Um, so we've got fully hydrogenated sunflower oil. I don't think that fully hydrogenated coconut oil. I don't think they're good for you, them, are they? Let me know in the comments as well. I mean, there's lots of lots and lots of ingredients in there, isn't there? <clears throat> uh, they're, they're the ways to cook look for, for best results cook from frozen which these are uh, oven from frozen pre oven 200 gas 7 remove all packaging place on a baking tray near the, near the middle of the oven for 30 to 35 minutes and I'm going to do mine in the air fryer because it, it cuts down on time and you know I've got an air fryer I'm going to use it so I've got, I've got some gifts delivered as well and I want to show you these gifts because they're absolutely spot on they are and it's only right isn't it um, and I featured this this gift in a video in a short I did um, and this is come this is come from Paul in America originally from Chel um, Cheltenham so thanks for that Paul it's a Cajun seasoning uh, new news Cajun seasoning and also he sent me this as well look at that hot sauce I can't wait to get in that <laughs> I haven't opened it yet and I also get I've got another lovely gift as well here and I'm going to show you this gift as well so look at that that is a stunning gift isn't it it's a 3d printout um, and he also and the lovely chap as well sent me some um, key rings uh, and, and that is that and, and I've got a letter as well um, a lovely letter and it was off um, Roy um, and he's got his own um, sort of company and, and that is it there look if you want any aerial photographs doing or any key rings or any pictures get in touch with him and um, it's only deserved isn't it um, a bespoke service reach for the sky aerial photography Norfolk so a lovely touch so I'm gonna I'm gonna it's a picture so I'm gonna set it up I'm gonna find somewhere in the kitchen to put it up probably put it up on the wall here I thought that was a lovely touch that uh, and I also got another a lovely present as well I had to go to the post office to pick this up because I was out and I missed the delivery um, but this is off David Winfield and it's a lovely note as well he left me I'm not going to read it but it's from David Winfield happy days and what he sent me he must have been watching my video he sent me a, a Heston Heston Blumenthal scales <laughs> look at that there they are there look look at them scales look heston blumenthal so yeah i am a lucky boy i really am a lucky lucky boy thank you very much for all the gifts that you send me i'm absolutely i get inundated with them and i wouldn't swap it for the world i am it gets right in there like right in there honestly Look at these gifts, look. And these as well. These were sent to me. I'm going to get round to doing these, don't worry. And also, Vamp Diva, I've got your gift in the fridge. Uh, the other gifts you sent me were lovely as well, by the way. And my children had a few of them as well. They were absolutely spot on. But there's one in there. I'm not going to give away what it is. I'm going to save it for a special occasion. <laughs> 
So, yeah, so I've had lots of lovely gifts sent to me. Absolutely stunning, stunning gifts. Look at them. So let's um, let's let's get back onto the food anyway, because I'm getting a bit hungry. So let's get these open and see what we've got. So let's have a look at these. One pound. Oh, that's, that's that's them. Wow. So there we go. Let me get a bit of better light for you. This is that. Have a look at that. See what you think of that. I'm not too keen on parsley, to be honest. So I can smell it now as well. I can smell that parsley. Yeah, I hope they taste. They're going to taste the cheese and pork, aren't they? They've got it with pastry. That parsley is just a little bit of um, dressing, isn't it? <laughs> so what I'll do, um, I'm all over here. I'm all a bit discombobulated today. Um, what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll get these in the oven, get them cooked or in the fryer, and, I, and I'll bring you back when they're done. So I almost forgot. I, I got another delivery as well. Um, and these are ration packs. Well, I think they are. It didn't specifically say of which nationality they belong to, um, and I've not seen them before. It's got French and English ingredients on them, so let me know if you know what where these ration packs are from. Um, and these are from um, Simon. So thank you very much, Simon, for these. Have a look at these. So obviously there's French on them, ingredients, and there's British as well. Um, so what we've we got here, we've got um, pasta with beef and tomato sauce and also we've got, um, what's this one here, vegetables with pasta um, and chicken with lentils, so I'm, I'm sorry, the, it, it, I don't know if it can be used for both French or British, it might even be the foreign, foreign, uh, French Foreign Legion, I don't know, <laughs> but it's one to get into isn't it, so thank you very much for that, um, I think it's Simon. I hope it is. Let me know anyway. Just give me a comment. So it's done. Um, it's um, looking pretty good, I'll be honest. <laughs> I can't wait to get into this. So if this is uh, your kind of a video, um, food reviews, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, well, maybe consider subscribing. That does help on the algorithm of YouTube or whatever that is. <laughs> Leave a comment, let me know if you've had these. They've been out um, maybe a week now, I think. A week or two. Well, have a look at them anyway. There they are. Look, this is that. Let's have a look at this. So there's the parsley on top. And it's gone all like... Um, I did it in the air fryer. I did it for 25 minutes at 190. I'm hoping it's going to be okay. So let's get this open. I'm going to have it with some chutney. This was a gift from John as well. I got this around Christmas time and it's nearly gone. So I'm going to use it up on this. So let's let's cut it open. Oh, it's crispy. Nice and crispy. There it is, look. This is that. I've had the thermometer on and it is up to temperature. Look at that. Look at the cheese oozing out of it there, look. <laughs> oh, so it's a little. I forget. I forgot to read a little bit on the side before, but I'm going to read it now when I can find it. It's just there. Uh, it's Cathedral City uh, Gastro Pork and Vintage Cheddar Roll. Seasoned pork with vintage cheddar. Uh, Cathedral City Cheddar Cheese wrapped in puff pastry and sprinkled with dry parsley. So look at that. Oh, you can see the cheese oozing out of it. Look. Look at that. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna chop it up so it cools down a little bit as well because it's uh, if I put that in my mouth now it will be like um, a burning inferno <laughs> it'll burn me I got that mug as well look at that that's cracking in it baldy <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that again so I can have a and get into that. Let's have a look, see what this is all about. Look at that. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, that pastry is lovely and soft. Uh, sorry, crispy. And the cheese just oozes out and you get like, um, it's like a shot of cheese. Tangy cheese, it's lovely. Oh, <laughs> let's get some more. Obviously, let's have, let's have a few bits first. Look at that. Look at that. Cheese, sausage roll, puff pastry. Oh, what's not to love about that, eh? Mmm. Oh, that is that is lovely. Wow, that is delicious. I thought that parsley might have affected it a little bit, but it's not just lost. The parsley is gone. It's fine. Oh. Mm. It's well seasoned. It's it's just joy. It's just simply joy. No wonder nearly 600 calories. God. I can't stop eating it. Mm. <laughs> mm. I got that Baxter's out to have with it. I know, I'm not having it with it. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the sausage roll, it is lovely. Wow, that that is, it was a recommendation and, and God. It's, it's porky and cheesy <laughs> with puff pastry. It's lovely, look at that cheese, watch that. Look at that oozing out of there, look. Get a close up, look at that. Look at it oozing out. <laughs> There's no grisly bits in, in it neither. In the park, I've not come across any grisly bits. Mm. Mm. It doesn't need pepper neither. It's it is lovely. It is really lovely. Um I would buy that again, definitely. Um, it's go. Oh, it's it's a nine and a half. <laughs> it's a nine and a half. Maybe in a tight one, if it'd have been two quid, it'd have been a ten. <laughs> but it's tasty. Definitely go and try that one. You won't. You won't. Um, there it is. Look. You won't be disappointed. That's for sure. Hmm. Mm. I wish we'd put the other one in now. Mmm. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get this down. I'm gonna enjoy this last bit. I've eaten it all pretty much. That just says it all, doesn't it? It's lovely. Thank you very much for a recommendation. It was on the radar anyway, but thank you very much. Let me know. Keep them coming in the comments. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>